a big happy birthday to Taylor Swift. The Shake It Off singer turns 30 today, and the pop star got an early birthday present last night. She was named Billboard's first ever women, woman of the decade, and in her acceptance speech, Taylor referenced her fight with music executive Scooter and Braun, who now owns six, industry. her first six albums. She called out his defenders. Take a listen. And of course, Scooter never contacted me or my team to discuss it prior to the sale or even when it was announced. I'm fairly certain he knew exactly how I would feel about it, though. And let me just say that the definition of the toxic male privilege in our industry is people saying, but he's always been nice to me. And of course he's nice to you. If you're in this room, you have something he needs. She did not mm. use words, Erica. Tay Tay, girl, I lived for this whole 15 minute speech. There were so many great nuggets. And the thing about it was 15 minutes, probably 10 of them were going to giving accolades to other women to empower them. So that was exactly what was up. What Taylor is talking about in the music industry, a lot of us experience this in our own respective industries. You have people who acknowledge that they have power and privilege and they wanna speak out loud and put on the smiley, I love everybody, I'm good to everybody's face, but they don't want to relinquish even a portion of that in order to empower someone else. And it's power that we've already de decided that you got just by birthright. Right. So when you decide that you're gonna use your birthright power in order to continue to tout your privilege and silence people who don't have that same power, then you're a piece of crap. That's just it. it end, of dis end of discussion. You're worse than the people who don't admit it because you admit it and you do nothing about it right. and you continue to use it, you're a piece of crap. Erica, what mm. would you like to see change when it comes to Scooter and Taylor. What could Scooter Braun do to somehow make amends and do the right thing in your eyes? I don't know if there's a way to do that. I mean, my thing has been from the beginning, what I find super disgusting about the situation is this was a power play to own her. And she talks about it, her handwriting, right. her art, her, right, her music, all of her music, her image. That is such a violation in, and you don't want to talk to a black woman about something like that when someone's telling you, I own you. Like, I'm very sensitive to that. And I think that at this point, the only thing he could do is just relinquish everything and allow her to buy what's rightfully hers. Nope. And until he does that, there's really nothing to talk about. Wow, we'll have to wait and see. We'll see. It's on you now, Scooter.